नमस्ते गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इट्स टाइम टू अनबॉक्स द हुआवे P20 लाइट नाउ प्रीवियसली आई हैव अनबॉक्स द Y7 प्राइम एंड आई रिव्यू ऑन इट एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू अनबॉक्स द हुआवे P20 लाइट दिस फोन कॉस्ट फ्रॉम 360 डॉलर्स एंड 36000 पीआर इट इज अ बिट ऑफ अ फ्लैगशिप फोन इफ इट वेंट फॉर 400 डॉलर्स एज हुआवे मेक्स इट्स फ्लैगशिप फोन्स इन द रेंज ऑफ 400 डॉलर्स एंड अबव दैट बट इट इज अ बजट फोन for now but uh, yeah so the reason why i'm going to unbox it is because it has gained popularity since 2 months and now i'm going to unbox it up i ho- have also planned to use this phone as a personal phone and it comes up with mnp official warranty so let's unbox it up first of all i'm going to remove the plastic and i'm going to do that carefully let's do that okay so i'm going to i have removed the plastic and inside you get this warranty which is going to start in september as you can see and then you get some call sale center then you get free you know mobile data offer with it as well let's see what is written on the box so over here we have um, p20 lite model midnight i got this in midnight black is it It's ROM is four, uh, 64 GB with a RAM of 4 GB, which is very good. And let's see if it can compete with the Samsung devices or not. So I'm gonna just quickly grab my cutter, and I hope it is opened. The seal is pretty soft, actually. I can open it very easily, unlike Samsung. Free mobile internet. So let's open it up. The box of Huawei uh, mobile phones are very simple. So inside we get this beautiful device. So I'm going to put it aside and first of all I'm going to see what is inside the box. So you get a SIM injector too. No screen protector or no, you know, back cover. I guess it is a almost a flagship phone so that's why they are not providing you any kind of uh, accessories for protection, but we have this quick start guide. Then we have a fast charger in it. It is a fast charger. It has also written over here Huawei a uh, quick charge it is let me just see um okay so it is a fast charger i have read the ampere ratings so it is a fast charger and uh, which is good now huawei provides you fast charging in their budget devices as well now i believe this cable is type c yep it is type c my camera is not focusing but uh, hopefully you can see that it is type c which is also very good and awesome the best part in this smart device that Huawei has provided now fast charging in their budget phones and i hope that they will also provide fast charging in their phones which are under under $200 and uh, other phones then we get this very standard uh, hand free which is not good at all you know they should have provided some good quality hand free at the hand free as they fo- uh, have also provided fast charging but uh, that was all in the box so let's now have a look at the device which is the star of the show i'm going to just put this aside okay so i'm going to swipe this up very carefully as it is very premium it is looking like an iphone x for sure <laughs> let's peel off this plastic and have a look at the beauty so i'm going to just do that Well, look at that. It says Huawei branding as you can see. And then we have uh, dual lens and then specifications. It is looking like an iPhone X for sure, but it is more beautiful than iPhone X because it has some reflection thing going on. The reason I purchased a uh, black color is because it is classic. Blue is more flashy to be honest, so I don't like flashy things at all. Now let's boot this device up and I'm going to skip up the startup because it's pretty boring so I'm going to be right back once I set this device up but before that I'm going to show you what is present on the sides so on the top you get a micro uh, microphone then over here you get volume rocker and an unlocking button which is very, which are very short to be honest then we get speakers on the bottom USB type C charging port as well as a headphone jack which is very good because uh, Huawei has unfortunately not provided headphone jack in uh, P20 and P20 Pro variants and its other variants but it is available in the baby one now here we have nothing else except the 
sim and card slot it is a single sim variant so let me just put it back let me just show you first the cameras okay so the camera over here is 16 mp plus 2 mp i believe and the selfie camera is also 16 mp with a fingerprint face and lock and also a fingerprint scanner now let me just boot it up and i will set this device up and be right back so i'm gonna just do that okay so i'm back and now it is uh, set up I have a setup and I have also set up a face unlock as well as a fingerprint and uh, I have also you know I'm using a pack uh, cover for it for its protection because it was very flashy to be honest and uh, the battery is low but we are just going to make an unboxing video the complete review will be coming out on my channel soon so make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't to watch uh, latest technology videos now let's see the basic specifications in it as this is not a review the complete review as i mentioned before is going to come out soon so first of all i'm going to check out the camera let me just bring uh, something to check out the camera so let's do that a real quick i'm going to capture a photo so let's go to the back camera now good thing about this device is that it is having a lot of modes it has wide aperture mode a portrait mode a focus mode and uh, then we have also a lot of modes over here as you can see air lens pro photo video um, pro video photo real quick i have enabled the portrait mode okay so let's have a look at the photo now how is the result so as you guys can see that it is very good and uh, you can see everything the display i mean is amazing look at that we also have a notch but we also have an option to hide the notch if you don't like the notch so you can see there are a lot of details on this a photo particular photo which I really like and doubt, no doubt the photo result is good. We will have a look at the detailed camera view in our complete review soon. So as you can see this is the device and uh, we get Google by swiping up like that. But I have not connected to the internet. I just skipped all the settings in a hurry. And then we also get a phone manager and also a lot of things. So yeah. Then uh, we also have settings. Let's have a look at its EMUI. I believe it is going to be 8. Let me just do that. Here we go. Okay. So we're going to go to about phone. And as you can see, EMUI and Android version is 8.0 Oreo. Then we get a Snapdragon. No, we don't have Snapdragon. We have High Silicon Kirin 659. This is the CPU and it is the processor of Huawei. Then we RAM 4GB, 64GB internal storage, screen is 1080p, which is good. And uh, overall, I think it is going. It was intended to go with flagship phones, but unfortunately, Huawei added it to the budget phones as it also released P20 Pro and P20 original variant, which is on the price of price list of $999, almost 100,000 PKR. So it is a bit expensive. This phone is also a bit expensive, but I'm thinking of using it personally as I like it a lot personally I don't really feel bad uh, about the notch and the fingerprint scanner review the face unlock review the camera review gaming performance everything is coming out soon on I will make a separate video on that as the video is going to be pretty long if I make unboxing plus reviews so a separate review is coming out soon Thank you so much guys for watching my review. If you enjoyed, give a like and thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos as I make videos regularly. And I will also make videos regarding this device. So make sure to subscribe, like this video, comment down below about how you like this device. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, take knowledge and peace out.